There we go, that's the spirit. Alright. So that's what we think of the UN, right? Yes, right here. I'll move this around the other side so I don't think I had enough in my life. There you go. That's how we do it, huh? All right. Okay, so say what you wanted to say. Okay, I just came over to do this. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Okay, so why did, what does Obama need? Obama needs a timeout, huh? The proper respect to the UN. Yeah. So this is how you get your UN flag? This is what you think of the UN flag? Whoops. Oh, I think I did again. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> we sacrifice enough time and resources to make the Do you have a question? When all else fails, vote for the rooftop. the Constitution, vote by it, or we're stopping cash for clunkers or cash for refrigerators or whatever, or stopping state run health care. We have to be pro proactive. Otherwise, we lose. We can, we can sit here and talk all we want to, but if we're not proactive. To me, he loves this country, he's a patriot, and he said, boy, in my old country there was no unemployment, there was a free education and free health care, and everybody is dying to get out of the country. <laughs> so, What's the problem? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I am so honored and pleased to be here today. Some of my biggest concerns is everything we're talking about here today. The erosion, the erosion of state sovereignty. Nick Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I'm the Libertarian candidate. Congress in District 5, uh, running against Harry Mitchell. I'm a small business owner in Tempe, I've been in business for over 12 years in the IT industry, and uh, my biggest concern is kind of an overall one, the idea that government needs to provide everything for us. If you look at the private sector industries where government is involved the most, education and healthcare, those are the two things that we have the biggest complaints about. Healthcare is expensive, education quality is poor. Uh, whenever a government gets involved and tries to take something over, we see this trend. And it should be fairly obvious. I, being in the IT industry, we have very little government control. Computers keep getting faster and smaller and cheaper. Everyone has cell phones. We don't divvy out cell phones the way Obama wants to divvy out healthcare. And cell phones keep getting better and better, smaller, more features, and less expensive. And everybody has them. So I think the idea here to increase prosperity is to roll government back, to get them out of these things, to privatize, privatize more of the healthcare system and not to increase government intervention in it. Thank you. Yeah. Privatize. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I talk to a lot of people and they ask me about my fiscal policies and then they don't ask, they ask me why I'm not running as a Republican. And, uh, you know, because there are a lot of, well, first, the quick answer is because I'm not a Republican. Um, <laughs> the, the difference between uh, libertarianism, at least from my point of view, uh, with, with a lot of other political philosophies is that it focuses on the rights of the individual. It doesn't mean that because you say that something should be legal that that means you endorse that action. Of course, I would say that I think we should abolish the drug law. It's a huge waste of money. It creates, I'm sorry, the drug war. It's a huge waste of money. It, it, uh, it, it creates lots of corruption that, uh, that was spoken about over there. Uh, it was mimicked when we, when we prohibited uh, alcohol in the 20s. Yeah. We came up with yeah. lots of organized crime. That's the cause of it. It's outlawing these sorts of actions. So the idea isn't to try and uh, control the way individuals act on their own. If someone wants to you know, uh, use marijuana or you know, whatever drug of their choice is, that's their own personal business. If they're friends or family of yours, of course you want to try and convince them not to do that. You want to use reason and you want to focus on the negatives, why it's not a good idea for them to do that. But ultimately that is a personal choice. It's something that, that is up, should be left up to the individual.